Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another video of Dr. Zakir Naik where a brother asked question that God is the creator that Quran is the word of God how can you prove it watch this beautiful video Assalamu alaikum alaikum salam my name is Mohan I am working for National Paints okay my question is the holy Quran is from God how can you prove it all right thank you brother asked me the question that how can you prove that the glorious Quran is from Almighty God? Brother, I've given a lecture, Is the Quran God's Word? Which is about approximately two hours lecture for the question and session for another one and a half, two hours. We don't intend doing here, but surely I would ask one of the volunteers to give you that DVD, Is the Quran God's Word? Because even if I have to give in short, the answer will take it at least 15, 20 minutes. Not that I'm running away from the answer, Okay, fine. At least in a few minutes, I'll just try. The time is short. That is the only thing. Suppose I ask this question to an atheist and even to a person who does not believe in the Quran, that suppose there is an object which is given to you who no one in the world has ever seen before and is brought in front of you and ask the question, who will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this object who no one in the world has seen. As I'm asking the question, suppose there is something which is brought in front of you. There is an equipment who no one in the world has seen before. And if I ask you the question, who will be the first person who will tell you the mechanism of this new object? Creator, very good. Some will say creator, some will say manufacturer, some will say producer, some will say inventor, whatever it is keeping in your mind. Now ask your next question. That's how did our universe come into existence? The person of knowledge will tell us that first our universe was one primary nebula. Then there was a secondary separation, so the Big Bang, which gave us to galaxies, the stars, the sun, and the planet Earth on which we live. When did you come to know? He will tell you we came to know about 35 years back, 40 years back, Big Bang. Now this thing is mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30. Where it's mentioned, kafru. Do not the unbelievers see and the samawati wal arda kana tarat kan na huma, that the heavens and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder. This Big Bang we're talking about is mentioned in the Quran in a nutshell 1400 years ago. Some will say, maybe it's a fluke. No problem, don't argue with it. I ask the next question. What is the shape of the earth? So the person will tell me that the shape of the earth is spherical. When asked the question, when did you come to know? He will tell that recently, 100 years back, 200 years back, previously we thought that the earth is flat. It was in 1577 when Sir Francis Drake, he sailed around the earth and he proved that the earth was spherical. The Quran mentions 14 years ago in Surah Naziat, chapter number 79, verse number 30, Wal arda baada zalika dahaha, and thereafter we have made the earth egg shaped. And today we know that the world is not completely round like a ball. It is geospherical in shape. It is starting from the pole and bulging from the center. And the Arabic word the haha refers to the egg of an ostrich. And if you analyze the shape of an egg of an ostrich is geospherical in shape. Who could have mentioned that the earth is geospherical in shape in the Quran 1400 years ago? Someone will say, okay, maybe a prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was very intelligent. Don't argue. Continue. When we ask the atheist or a person who doesn't believe in the Quran that the light of the moon is it is its own light or reflected light, so he will tell us that previously we thought that the light of the moon was its own light. Recently, 100 years back, 200 years back, we came to know that the light of the moon is reflected light of the sun. The Quran mentions in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 61, that the light of the moon is borrowed light. It's described as Munir or Noor, borrowed light or reflected light. Who could have mentioned this in the Quran 14 years ago? When I was in school, I had learned that the earth and the moon, they revolved and they rotated. But the sun was stationary. It did not rotate about its own axis. Quran mentions in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 33. It is Allah who has created the night and the day. The sun and the moon. Each one traveling in orbit with its own motion. The Quran says the sun and the moon, besides revolving, they are also rotating about their own axis. Today we have come to know that the sun takes approximately 25 days to complete one rotation. Who could have mentioned this in the Quran 1400 years ago? 
that the sun rotates about its own axis. Furthermore, recently we came to know that the universe is expanding. It was Edwin Hubble who mentioned this. Quran mentions 14 years ago in Surah Dariyat, chapter 51, verse 47, that the universe is expanding. The Quran speaks about the water cycle in great detail in several places. The water evaporates from the ocean, rises up, forms into clouds, moves into the interior, falls down the head in several places. In Surah Azumur, chapter 39, verse 21. In Surah Mu'minun, chapter 23, verse number 18. In Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse 24. In Surah Hijar, chapter 15, verse 22. In Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse 43. I can go on and quoting only the references of the water cycle in the Quran. Who could have mentioned this? We came to know recently in our school, we are taught that Bernard Palissy was the first person who described the water cycle in 1580, which is mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago. Who could have mentioned this earlier? Now there'll be a big pause. I can go on. We did not know that the plants are sexes. Quran mentions 14 years ago in Surah Taha chapter 20 verse 53 that the plants have sexes male and female. Recently, we have come to know that the two types of water, salt and sweet, and there's a barrier between them which cannot be trespassed. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Rahman, chapter 55, verse number 19 and 20. It's also mentioned in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 53, about the same thing. The Quran speaks about embryology. The Quran speaks about medicine. The Quran speaks about genetics. I can go on and give a lecture of us together. Who could have mentioned this 14 years ago? Brother, who could have mentioned that? What's the answer? Who? Creator. Creator. Creator, manufacturer, inventor, producer, this creator, this manufacturer, this inventor, we Muslims call as Allah, which you call as God. So this Quran can be proved scientifically that the word of God. Because Quran, the word of God is far superior to science. Today, science is the yardstick for many of them. I'm not trying to take the help of science. I'm using your yardstick, science, along with my yashtik, the Quran, which is far superior, and I'm trying to prove to you what your yashtik has mentioned today, Quran has mentioned 14 years ago. So with the help of your yashtik, the science, I'm trying to prove to the non-Muslims that the Quran is the last and final revelation of Almighty God, who we call as Allah. For more details, refer to my video cassette, Is the Quran God's Word, in which various ways I've proved that Quran is the Word of God. Hope that answers the question. Thank you so much. Welcome back friends. I hope you enjoy the video till the last minute. The brother asked a very important question and a very good question that is Quran is the word of God. How can you prove it? My dear brother and sister, there is a special talk of Dr. Zakir Naik on this that is Quran the word of God or not. You may have visited uh, and searched in the YouTube, you will find the answer. But let me clear you one thing that you should take the one, uh, one copy of Bible, one copy of uh, any other religious book and one copy of the Holy Quran. Then you go to the Christian and ask the question from the Christianity that in the Bible from the different parts, believe me, answer will be different from every side. If you ask the same question from three Christian, the three answer will be different. If you ask the same question from four or five people, different have the different answers. Now the same thing is apply on Jewism, whether you go to Jew and from their religious book you ask the question from three, four, five, six, from any other Jews, everyone will be replying with the different answer, with the different methodology. But when you come to the Holy Quran, the glorious Quran, you ask from thousand people, the thousand people will be have the same answer. You ask from the million people, a million people will be the same answer. This is the beauty of Islam. There are millions and billions, not billions, but there are millions of kids and adults who memorize the complete Quran in his memory. You will be never find a single person of the Bible that who memorize the complete Bible. No. I'm challenging you that they're not able to memorize it. Now, the only prestigious books, that much book, is completely someone memorize it in his memory and tell that it was saved in his memory. Just imagine if someone doing this kind of things and make it easy for it, then it must prove that this is the book of God.
Now come to the answer of your daily life. You ask you, you, you just look at your body, your eyes, your ears, your heart, your different parts of the body, your life cycle, your reproduction. Everything was mentioned, is mentioned in the Holy Quran. So if when a book gives you 100% authentic information, it means that this book is not a lie. It's a truth book. And whenever a truth book says that it was revealed from someone, from Almighty Allah, then you prove that this is the book of Almighty Allah. And we also believe in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. So, my dear brother and sister, if you look at the Big Bang Theory, the moonlight, the sunlight, the universal life, everyone, everything is mentioned in the Holy Quran and from where it proved that the Holy Quran is the words of Almighty Allah. I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends.